For those of you who are wondering, we are splitting up our shows so that after we're live, Mike yeah. goes in and cuts them in half. Did you end the first half already? So I just ended the first half and we're going to go into the second half. So I'm Tara from LyingOnADying.com. <laughs> I'm Mike. <laughs> The author of the Dieting on a Diet Cookbook, along with my mom, Jill, and we are answering your questions. <laughs> What's and what stuff? are they about? <laughs> I've got some from before, but let me just make sure I don't miss any of the ones that are about to scroll off the screen. Oh, it looks like we were okay on this. Um, is there a garlic that may taste... Uh, oh, I don't understand, Cherry. Is there a garlic that may taste like you can get onions that taste sweet? I'm not sure what that means. Well, Sorry. garlic turns sweeter when you cook it. So the bigger the pieces, the sweeter it is. And the more you cook it, the sweeter it is. So the more it's chopped up and ground up, the more savory garlic is. The bigger the pieces, the sweeter garlic is. Did you use gloves for cooking? Yeah. Because Amy said, <clears throat> tell Tara at least now the glove police will be happy she finally got on board. All these years you've been telling people you don't need gloves to cook. You know what's so hilarious is I don't really like gloves to cook, but since I've started with the fake fingernails, the, I, I get tired of scraping out the dough and scraping out the chicken grease and all that. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. I have all these gloves. Why don't I use them? So that's what I've been started using for two cents. It's been worth it. And Michelle wants to know, where did you where do you get your gloves? Um, I have got most of mine for free. Like some of these I got from grandma because when they were coming and helping grandpa, they had a whole bunch of gloves. Um, a friend of mine has a son who has a G tube. She got way overstocked because they just send her so many with the kit and she doesn't use them all. So, she, so I got some from her. Then when I do buy them, I get them for like $2 at the store. So, yeah, Julia said I went to Walmart and bought some of those gloves after seeing you use them, and yeah. I'm so glad I did. Yeah, it's actually, I am really enjoying it because I don't know why, but just greasy fingernails, doughy fingernails has just been driving me crazy. Did you say something about getting a chicken for $3.49? Yeah. Uh oh. So, so if I go in the morning, they will have these marked down to $3.49, the leftovers wow. from the night and before. that's the big one, isn't it? Yeah, and this is the big one. This is, um, I said it was three pounds, but it said, oh yeah, two pounds. So this is a two pound chicken. So. But I think it's heavier than two pounds. We get the, yeah, it's, it's minimum yeah. of two pounds, but we tend to get. I think that's a three pound one. We tend to, they have a bigger one and a smaller one. And the price difference is such that the bigger one is a much better deal. Yeah. You have to do the math for yourself at your store, but, uh, so we always get the bigger one on that because we can stretch it for a lot of meals. Yep. And we don't eat a massive amount of meat at each meal. No. We do eat, we eat chicken almost every day. Somebody was asking earlier. Yeah. Uh, beef, not very much, right? We eat more chicken just because that's what Mike likes more than beef, so. I used to like beef a lot, but for some reason, not so much these days. So we eat chicken probably 75% of the time now. We get kind of sick of chicken. I need to come up with a chicken cookbook because I'm tired of trying to figure out what to do with chicken. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, let me go back to these questions. Uh, yeah, Josephina says Walmart puts cold ones on sale yep. for a little over $3. You mm -hmm. saw that already. And you can't, and they're already cooked. I mean, a chicken not cooked is more expensive than that. I, when I find them for that price, I'll usually get all they have and throw them in the freezer and just pull them out. And what I'll do is I'll stick them on a baking pan to warm them up and eat them as the chicken, the roasted chicken the first night. And then, you know, like I said, spread the meals out through the rest. Okay. Nancy said, I received my Dying on a Dime book today. I love it. Thank you so much for your hard work in writing, writing the book grateful. Nancy is always saying wonderful things. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you we love much. you, Nancy. Uh, let's see. Courtney, tonight I made fried chicken wings and made your coleslaw, but I added an apple to it and it was so oh, good. Oh, that would be good to add an apple. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see, we answered that one already. Patricia said, my husband eats oatmeal every day as well. I would love to, however, I'm also gluten-free and cannot tolerate oats. So the ones you get, are they completely gluten-free? Yeah. So, well, the ones, the ones that he eats 
aren't gluten-free, but the ones I eat are gluten-free. So, but I don't do very well with oatmeal either. So, um, I mean, it's okay. I don't, I'm not quite sure what my deal is with oatmeal, but anyway, um, usually I just have an egg and a piece of gluten-free toast every breakfast. That's what I eat. Um, are we honeymooning? <laughs> Let's see. Um, we'll see nine months from now. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I'm 47. <laughs> Only kidding. So Carolyn is asking, in your opinion, who has better deals, Walmart or Kroger? Kroger. <laughs> really? I thought you were yeah. going to say it depends on mm -hmm. what you want to get. No. I would shop at Kroger before I would shop at Walmart any day. Walmart is expensive. It really is. Now, I shop at Walmart for convenience when I order online, when I'm not feeling good. But if I want good deals like, oh, I forgot to show it, but like for the barbecue chicken in this, they had buns for 25 cents on clearance. And so, I mean, that makes Sloppy Joe's and um, barbecue chicken super, super cheap. So I just throw those in the freezer, pull a package out when I wanna make dinner, and then that's what we do. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm not sure if I answered this right, but Gina asked, Walmart that's roasted chicken will be a dollar a piece when they will they freeze well yeah yeah I throw it in the freezer all the time I mm -hmm. thought that's what I told her I thought so so yeah and Jordan wants to know how do you make the broth so concentrated I just boil it down I just boil it down so it doesn't have so much water in it cool and I am Sam I am I just received your book bought one 15 years ago and just got the new one god bless and thank you so much new hardcover I'm and color pictures I was just feeling kind of blessed to know you've been around that long. That's right. pretty cool. I hope you're really 15 enjoying it. 15 years? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I wonder what the longest person, longest any person's been on. Um, I don't know. Oh, did you call me Love Muffin earlier? Yeah. Because Retro Rage is like, woo, Love Muffin. <laughs> That's why people are saying. By the way, minute. guys, after the show, I'm going to go back on live. And I'm going to do a video, but for those of you who are international people, if you're international, I am doing an international giveaway of a Dining on a Dime cookbook and a small planner that one of our viewers ever so kindly donated and wanted to have an international viewer specifically get each of those. So we're going to do two drawings, one for a cookbook and one for a planner. So after the show, be watching that for that video. Uh... Let's see, sorry. Oh, let me go back to your, where I've got my... <laughs> Shannon, ha ha, Tara, nice to see you're both still in love. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's see, we already talked about that one. Jasmine said, I love how Tara often shows all the steps for cooking. She doesn't usually have everything pre-measured or pre-cooked. It really shows how simple the recipes are. It really is. And a lot of this is to taste. Like, the recipe calls for... Um, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder... But Mike always likes more, so I usually use closer to a teaspoon. That's why you need to taste your food before it's served, before you serve it, because you never know if you're going to need more salt, more pepper, or like Mike, you like more my, more garlic for the flavoring. So Carol says, "Terrific show, thank you, Carol." Oh, thanks. Um, David is. Actually, somebody else, I think. <laughs> David's saying I would add some sliver almonds, slivered almonds. I think, oh, is that to yeah. the coleslaw? No, to the spinach. That would be good. Oh, the spinach. That would be mm -hmm. good. I was trying to imagine it with coleslaw. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, well, and that's, Kathy's right. It takes less time to cook the recipes in dining than it does to go eat out. That's just it. I really never spend more than 20 minutes in the kitchen. I mean, 20 minutes is a long recipe for me. I've got chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia. I don't have the energy to spend all day cooking in the kitchen. And so, I mean, yeah, we try to make them really simple. That's why we test all of the recipes and our sequel that we're working on right now, I'm testing all the recipes to make sure they're simple and simplified so that you can get in and out of the kitchen. This oatmeal just has oats, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I forgot, I forgot who. Oh, Ellen said it's an instant oatmeal has too much salt, so I can't use it. This oatmeal does not have any salt. This is just normal quick oatmeal. Is is just is that what you, 
I assume mm -hmm. that's what you mean. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have any, and the thing is, I can pour this in a little glass bowl. It's, it's probably better for me to put it in the pan and cook it, but when I'm really lazy, we have these little tiny like glass dessert bowls, and I'll just sprinkle a little bit in and put some water in the tea kettle. <laughs> And when it boils, I pour it in there. We go in the other room for a couple minutes to do something. I come back and. Oh, done. I was wrong. What? I got my cookbooks mixed up. What? What happened? Jimmy oh, Jimmy was is. like, Tara, this is in the cookbook. Okay, so <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. My brain is fried from editing. <laughs> this chicken and pasta is in dining. I'm so sorry. My fault. I apologize. I um. Oh! Oh dear. Got my um, cookbooks mixed up. Oh, thank you, Gail. Gail says we make a good team. <laughs> um, Carol's Cottage bought the financial planners for her granddaughters. Yay, I hope they ah! use them and it blesses them a lot. So it's crazy. I've had people buy two, three, four, five financial planners. It's crazy. I've only got 10 left at the discounted price, guys, that have the 2020 on. I've only got 10 of the financial planners left. So if you want one of those, go grab them. I'll probably be out by tomorrow morning. So um, yeah, so grab it if you want one. Laura says, hey guys, new visitor. Oh, Welcome, we're thanks. glad you're here. M and JP, why did you start to cut your videos in half recently? Okay. Okay, this is a darned if you do and darned if you don't type of situation. So <laughs> we've had person after person after person complain that our videos are too long. So we thought, okay, what we'll do is we'll start cutting them and, and putting the different segments up instead of putting the whole thing up. Well, now that we're doing that, person after person after person after person, I really miss the long shows. Why aren't you doing the long shows? Guys, it's we can't make anybody happy. So at this point, what we're doing is we are going by the numbers and the numbers say that the shorter videos do better as far as long term so what we're doing is monday's video is going up monday and tuesday although we forgot yesterday because we had a lot going on and wednesday's video is going up wednesday and thursday if you're watching this later <laughs> so if you, so i'm just curious because chris says what if you don't like spinach there's like is there something else you could put in it you could probably put other well you could put onions too. and green peppers in there if you want you could put anything you want Broccoli yeah. would still be okay. Broccoli would be good. You could like do broccoli. the chicken and broccoli. That would be really good. Sprinkle it with some cheddar cheese. Carissa, do you add Parmesan? Um, yes, but I didn't because I'm dairy-free. So I usually sprinkle yeah. a little on, but I don't put a whole lot, though. Yeah. Uh, Nebo, new plates to match the kitchen? Uh, yeah, well, for the show. They're, they're the new show plates. Because what happened was the white plates are throwing off the camera, and so I had to get some colored plates to to take um, and show stuff. Lenora says, I spent $100 this month on groceries for the month. <gasps> Yay, good Yay. job. That's great. Um, Carol's Cottage, will you be bringing back the undated planner digital download? You know, today when we put the, <laughs> there were 11 small planners left that we didn't know about. So Tara asked me to put those back on and I realized the digital download was gone. And I and unintentionally had taken it down. So I added it back. Yes. So the planner yes. is there in digital download. He accidentally took it off when he took the planners off. Um, what happens is when we sell out of a product, I hold a certain number of back, usually about 10, for post office mess ups. And in this case, so far, nobody's said that they've lost their planner. So um, thankfully... I have 11 left, so if you want the planner, and I forgot it, our little planner, um, I have 11 small planners left. But the digital download that is good all year long is um, now loaded up. So, yes. Um, tell us about the brownies in the back. So this is <laughs> so this is today's recipe testing this is the um <laughs> brownies for the new sequel cookbook it's got brownies it's got rice krispies peanut butter marshmallows and chocolate super super yummy we've got 
Cherry Cobbler. So this is hilarious. Cherry Cobbler. I've had six pans of Cherry Cobbler. I'm about to go crazy trying to find the perfect Cherry Cobbler. I keep using recipes that are five stars. I don't like them. It's, it's driving me crazy because what's happening is they're the dump cherry cobbler, the dump cake recipe. But what I don't like is see how this, some of this cake mix doesn't get mixed in. And I'm, I don't like that. I think that's gross. So today I made it a different way and it actually got a little bit better. So all the cake mix got cooked on this one but I'm gonna try one other thing that I have not seen anyone else do. I'm just gonna make up my own thing and see if I can get a cherry cobbler that actually works. And then we tested cookies, cake mix cookies. What did you think? They were good. I was like, well, make them go away. I'm gonna eat them all. So I have all these pans of food that's going to the neighbors and then the neighbor's gonna distribute it to her friend who had surgery. So between the three of them, her son, who is on his own, and then her, and then her friend, <laughs> hoping we can get it all going. For which part was that? All the food. Oh, the food. Yeah, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, somebody asked earlier if we snack and uh, have other stuff, and I was thinking, well, we don't snack that much, and well, at least we try not to. Although, no, we although, only snack when I'm when I'm doing this kind of stuff. And that's been difficult with the yeah. recipe testing, because yeah. then there's stuff everywhere that Can you freeze good. sour cream? Not really, it kind of separates. Yep. Um... Dora, my cookbook is starting to look like somebody randomly went through it and commented on recipes did croutons <laughs> yesterday and hubby is eating them like candy. Yeah, I'll make, if I have leftover bread that I need to use up before it goes bad in the freezer or whatever, I'll make a big batch of croutons and I'll just set them on the counter and they'll be gone by the night. Yeah. <laughs> Elizabeth, I'm and glad. that recipe's in Dining Out of Dime and on our website. I'm glad you cut them. I listen while I clean. So now I only have to clean half as long. <laughs> Other people were saying they like they liked them long because they used listen for different reasons. What's funny is we're not the second half isn't actually going away forever. We just no. we kind of cut it off the one day and then added a different day as a separate video. Just kind of what's happening is a lot of people won't watch it because they think it's too long. Uh, so we figure well we'll put the whole thing up but just in two pieces. So have I had London fog tea, Earl Grey tea steeped in almond milk? I have not, but that sounds good. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah. Did Jill and everyone get back to Kansas okay? I've not yet heard, but I've they're, been... Well, they're in Kansas. Oh, yeah, they're in Kansas. But, but they're not home yet. They... So here's a funny... So here's what happened. So last night, I called Mom at 3 o'clock and said, Are you guys still going? Because there was a storm coming. Yeah, we're still going. Okay. 5 o'clock, Mom calls. No, we're not going. The roads are too bad. It's going to be too icy. Snow's everywhere. 15 inches of snow is coming down in Kansas. Mike and I go look at the weather and we're like, okay, we're not seeing 15 inches of snow anywhere, but okay, whatever. So they canceled and we're going to go tomorrow. This morning, we got Jack ready. Mike headed off to school to take him to school. He only had a half day this week. And um, I get a phone call at mom at 7.50. Well, it looks like the roads are okay, so do the kids still want to go? <laughs> So I called Mike and said, turn around, don't take Jack to school. I had to wake up David and Ellie, make up all their food, pack all their bags, because we weren't packed or anything, and we got them out the door at 8.30. So <laughs> I think that's pretty good, actually. Yeah. A yeah. half an hour going from not even being awake or packed, and in 30 minutes getting packed and everything. If I do show you so myself. Carol says, need heart healthy, just had double bypass. I believe that the oatmeal, that's one of the reasons why I like it. I think it's, they were they used to promote it as heart healthy if you don't just dump all kinds of bad things on it. Yeah. So, and Turin says, hi, David and Jack from uh, from Ivan. I, I, don't know, oh! I did tell her to tell Ivan hi. Uh, although David well, tell and Jack are, I. we'll have to tell them, yes. They're on a road trip right now. Uh, he was our wonderful translator, and now he's our friend. 
What about mm -hmm. BJ? So BJ has moved out. So he's with his job. He wasn't able to go with them. Yeah. So. But tomorrow he's moving. So unfortunately, Mike and I get stuck with helping him move by ourselves. Huh. Oh, it's all right. It's payback for all those times I made my brother help me and my grandparents. How long will the kids be gone uh, till the beginning of the week? Till Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jack this week had half days at school, but it's kind of more like, well. They're short, short, but they're just trying to yeah. stretch the days. <laughs> yep. Uh, Susan, I have to oh. say I downloaded some of your podcasts and listened to them on the flight to Barbados. Oh, we paid. Oh, you paid cash. Very good. Yes. Always been frugal, but you guys have some extra great ideas. Help even more. Love the podcast. Keep them coming. Good job, Susan. Cash mm -hmm. is the way to go. Here's the thing, guys. There's nothing wrong with going to Barbados. There's nothing wrong with buying a million dollar house. There's nothing wrong with going out to eat. If, go ahead and let him out if you want. If you are debt free and can, can pay cash for it all and you have your retirement ready so that when it comes time for retirement, you're not going to have issues with not having, what are you doing? Enough money. Um, so yeah. Um, all right, let's see what else we have. Love my meal planning books. Helps me to not spend so much time trying to figure out what to cook. Oh, that's great. We are trying to put meal plans in all of our cookbooks or most of them uh, oh which, where did you read that comment from I didn't even see the it. bottom oh all righty let's see yeah so guys it's totally fine to do all that kind of stuff now our retirement is not totally set but after paying off our house and being totally debt-free we and we didn't really go on vac we hardly went on vacation at all i mean we had taken like what two vacations i think until our trip last year maybe three everything else we would come back to colorado and visit family but you know we haven't ever been to disney world we haven't been to disneyland anything like that so our europe trip that we took last summer for seven weeks that's kind of like all the vacations and i mean yeah all the vacations in the world we spent Probably the same amount on that trip that a normal family would spend one to two times going to Disney World. So, yeah. <laughs> Yay, Linda got her financial planner before they sold out. Yay. Oh, uh, Laura, let's see. Well, Laura asked, do you still have the free Bibles? Yes. yes. You can, if you email us, uh, editor at livingonadime.com or go to livingonadime.com and click on contact either way. Tell us you'd like a free Bible and we will send you one. Yep. So, and if you have any Bible questions, um, we'd love to answer them. <laughs> we're gonna do a show on that too. But yeah, uh, the yearly planners have already shipped. Everything has shipped out. So, Christy, if you didn't get yours, please let me know, and we will look up the tracking number on it for you. Jeannie, I was thinking that too. She says your house is too quiet. It seems like Dave should be coming around to smile, and Jack <laughs> should be there whispering a question. <laughs> All day, I was thinking it's eerily quiet here. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, and our sister-in-law Shayla in Kansas says, David says I have to get kids' beds ready, so I better go. Ah. Bye, Auntie S. <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're supposed to arrive there shortly. So, while Mike's getting questions, I have a couple of packages here that, oh dear, oops, there's mail. Okay, so we have a cup. we got behind on our mail. I actually got these like last week and I apologize. To Jessica and Sue um, but our friend Sue in England look at the cute little socks she sent me she was hoping those would cheer me up with grandpa's passing and they did Sue we love you thank the you best. so much we miss you Sue we can't wait for you to come visit again and then Jessica Edwards I didn't open this yet Oh my goodness, Jessica! <laughs> Whoa, the French cookbook. So she gave me an old French cookbook. Oh, that is cool. Look at that, guys. Well, that is cool. 
Oh my goodness, Jessica. Thank you. I love old cookbooks. I collect old cookbooks. 1954. 1954. So I'm going to have to up my cooking skills here. Bullia base. What is bullia base? I don't know what oh, that is, but it's something I... important. Julia always was having that. Oh my goodness. And then look at this old one, a complete family cookbook. Oh my goodness. How cool. Oh wow. Thank you. See, I want to do a complete dining on a dime. And this one, well, I don't know if you can see, is a three ring binder. I was trying to decide if I should put it in a three ring binder like this. Oh, wow. Thank you, Jessica. This is so cool. I'm going to sit down and read this tonight. Oh, my goodness. And then. <laughs> so, so I got this in the mail. Yes. And I was like, and there's no, there's no note or anything. Oh, you don't know? So it's, it's I have not no some... idea who sent it. I so think we didn't order it. I did not order this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking maybe Mary sent it, but maybe not. But we got this in the mail. <laughs> you know what it is? Oh, because you said you wanted a new car. <laughs> I, just real, I just realized. Wow. So I don't know who sent us I'll a take new that car. One and that one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So if you guys missed Monday's show, was it Monday's show? Ellie said, I, I was saying how um, I mentioned I didn't have a cutting board because my cutting board was messed up. And then I didn't have my measuring cups and spoons. And they just show up at my door. And one of our viewers, Mary, we love you, Mary. She's always sending us stuff. But Ellie said, well, Mom, maybe you should mention we need a new car. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll show this to Ellie. That's She'll hilarious. Love that. She'll love that. I'm there's sure one that's, for everyone. I'm sure that's what it is. There, yeah, there's a car for all of us, isn't there? <laughs> What's funny is Tara was like, Where did the, what? What? What happened here? And I said, maybe somebody accident, maybe one of our kids accidentally clicked on something in Amazon. <laughs> I'm sure that's what it is. Somebody Those are sent some us a new cool car. Ones too. Yeah. Uh, yay. Carol's Cottage, that's what I want to encourage by giving your financial planner to my granddaughters. I want them to be financially, financially secure and stress-free. Yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you, M. McNamara. Thank you so much for my Bible. And oh, somebody you're else, welcome. Somebody else said it, too, earlier. So, anyway. um, are we going to Pan Kansas to pick up the kids? No. Ellie and Dave can both drive. So my grandma went back with mom to see my brother. And um, so ma, my, my kids and grandma are going to all drive back on Sunday. Uh, let's see. So Jake Condon earlier asked, how do I reply to comments? You just type comments in and other people will see them. So yeah. Um, any tips for freezing onions? Yeah. I just slice them up. It's best to put them on a cookie sheet and freeze them first on one layer in a cookie sheet and then put them into a freezer bag so they don't all stick together. Honestly, I don't do that. A lot of times I just chop them up and then I just whack the frozen bag on the counter and it breaks it up and I use what I need. Uh, yep. Oh, I love these recipes because I don't have so many leftovers for the two of us as I was having before. Yay! Yay. Yeah. She says, made most, your meatloaf today. Most of the recipes in Dining on a Dime, right here. Dining on a the dime. meatloaf is one of the things that I do like that to be. <laughs> yeah. Most of the recipes serve four people. There are some that will serve six or eight, but most of the recipes are for four people.